welcome to today, the silent meditation for you to go on your own journey through the collective energy that the group holds today. I want you just uh, to sit comfortably, closing your eyes, breathing in deeply and exhaling fully. Focusing on slow, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Wherever you hold any tension or stress or any disharmonious feelings, uh, just let them go, set them free, let them be. Focus on you, focus your attention on your connection with Source. And your symbiotic relationship with Mother Earth. Become aware of your connection as above, so below. During this silent meditation, uh, just allow yourself to receive all that you are to receive in this now moment. Just be with us collectively.
gently bring your energies back, back into this now, back into the timeline, back into your body. And visualize the most beautiful silver, golden bubble of light coming in all around you and grounding uh, that bubble of light within uh, the crystal core by the earth. Feel the love and support of uh, your vibration here on earth, your expression on earth. Coming back up your grounding cord and into your silver golden bubble of light. Living peace within your heart, peace within your mind, peace within your soul. And then gently rotate your hands, rotate your feet, stretch and make sure that you're properly back into your body. And when you are, you may open your eyes. If it hasn't been open for a while. <laughs> 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 Come back. Hello. Hello. I'm back. Yeah. So, as the first of the silent meditations, anything anybody wants to share? Can I start? Yes. Um, loads and loads of things came up for me. I started the meditation thinking about the cards that, that we drew and specifically about the one, well, about the two of them, one about the, um, the potential for things to not go well, you know, that there's sort of illness possibly and all of this stuff sort of in the field at the moment. And, and then I started to think about what's actually been worrying me for a long time. I never really believed in evil. I always thought it was more a question of um, unconscious behavior caused by ego, etc. And I thought that all the satanic stuff was, was not really real, to be honest. But lately, I have had the feeling with things that are going on in the world at the moment, that, that there actually is evil. There is actually something way beyond incorrect thinking or unconscious behavior. And when I realized that, I actually felt quite fearful and helpless and lost until I realized that all we have to do is ask for protection and we're fine. And so I spent part of the meditation asking for protection for everybody on this planet from the evil that's, that's going on at the moment. The other, the other thing was the card about discontent. And I thought about that and I thought, realized that discontent is, a, is, a pro, is part of a process of creativity. Because without discontent, you don't have boredom. And without boredom, you don't create. <laughs> so the one has to lead to the next in, in order to bring on the creative process. So, yes. And then I thought about um, all the things sometimes I think in my life, I would like to change this, I would like to change that. And, um, and then, I, then, then my life will be better. But then you think about making those changes and you realize that actually it's not what you want. What you want is what you've actually got. And then, uh, yeah, that, well, in my case, I am completely happy with things the way they are. I don't really want to change anything. So these are the realizations that I had during the meditation. It was lovely. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that with us. Thank you. Yeah, I can I talk? Yes. Um I had a oh, what was beautiful. Um I felt the energy I actually pictured the three of you there in Kwazulu Natal and your energy and you had a, a an earth energy 
that I was drawing from. Um, yes, this this grounded energy. And I was sending you energy, an air energy, um, a breezy energy, light, because that's what you need at the moment, and I need the grounded energy. Um, I just feel, in, in here, I feel light, I feel free, but I need some of the grounded mother energy, mother earth energy. Um, so it was just beautiful. And then when I opened my eyes, I don't know if it's the, the wind or if there's a breeze with you guys or if it's the fan, but Fiona, I saw your hair just kind of blowing, and that's what I was actually picturing is the breeze I was sending you guys was blowing your hair. And when I opened my eyes and I saw that, it was like, wow, that's quite a <laughs> quite an energy I've seen there. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was just a nice. Um, I also thought about the unconditional love and how you send it across the world. Um, and it's a cycle and I I take what I need, I give what I have. Um and it's unconditional because there's so much more of it. There's always so much more of it. So yes, that was me. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing all that. And thank you for the breeze. <laughs> That's my pleasure. <laughs> the wind beneath our wings is all fine. Or use it to fly. In the past, in meditation, um, at first I used to sort of go up to the 12th floor if it was a lift and then I changed it from there I would go to infinity and there I would meet the masters and whoever was going to teach me for that day and then one day I decided um, that I would in it, at infinity or wherever infinity was, I could take the lift down to the ground floor and see who was there as I opened the lift door. And I found all the masters that were in an infinity were actually on the ground floor. And wherever I was, the masters were with me. So Today I decided that I wouldn't take the lift anywhere. I would stay on the ground floor and see who was who was there. And all the masters were there, and that song "You'll Never Walk Alone" was singing, was playing. And I realized that. Like Melchizedek Dickens said to me for a long, long time, I will teach you all things. Now I found myself in the library <clears throat> where there were all these books and I was now writing my book. And I've got to take that file. I know you've got to take that file. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> I know you've got to take that file. Um, while I am putting it together, Melchizedek is there showing me what to put into it. But the people who, like yourself, and the various people who come have been the spokespeople for spirit telling me what to do. And it's time I listen. <laughs> so... And I was told again now, I have been given the pearl of great price. I just have to use it. So that's it. And then I saw myself going to the shop. And there they all were. <laughs> so I now know that I have to go nowhere. They're all there. Thank you. That was... Um, so I went to the shops, I bought what I had to, but they were all there. If I get in my car, they are all there. So 
I'll never walk alone. And thank you for being a spokesperson and thank you to all the others that have been spokespeople and with encouragement and everything else. Good. Thank you. Thank you. So for me, it was also a, a lovely, um, it's like I, I felt I received a recalibration and uh, more alignment. I felt lots of activity within the third eye. Um, so lots and lots and lots of things uh, with April traveling, was going, keep on saying uh, um, my intent to go back to court. Um, and just uh, seeing a lot, seeing lots of rays, uh, I saw the whole creation and how everything from the mosquito to the fly <laughs> was created by God. Everything has a purpose, everything has a place, uh, how everything is divinely perfect in this creation. Um, I send unconditional love to each heart and soul here on earth. Um, I was also contemplating on the card and the card messages. Uh, and uh, the one about discontentment, it was like, okay, so where do I still want to play, participate, whatever it is? Um, yeah, on earth. And most of my things and most of my lifetimes have been of service, some kind of service. Um, and to think of how more, how else can I be of service? Um, so I'm allowing, because I've been shown lots, but I'm allowing more to unfold. Um, and yeah, just so I, I felt the rays, I absorbed the, the rays and then shared the rays. Just channeling lots of rays, lots of whatever it is uh, that anyone needs uh, was just allowing it to flow through me. And then I get, um, lots of stuff was clear. I could see a lot of clearing taking place as if dot, dust particles for things to become lighter and brighter and more clear. And then I was just seeing eyes, but just the sort of the outline of the eyes and through the eyes came light, lots of light through eyes. So lots of, and then it came to me. Um, the window of the soul. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I heard it there, but now the words escaped me. The eyes of the window of the soul. And so each eye that I saw, I just saw the light because in with the masters, as I say, when the eye be single, the whole body is filled with light. And we are these light beings. And uh, all I could see was the, these the radiant souls, the light just shining through the eyes. It was beautiful. It was beautiful to see. And I just sort of became one with the light. And then I just uh, sat there and I... Come to this order, do I have to go back? Okay, back now, no, not yet, no, not yet, no, not yet. <laughs> okay, okay, because I can hear Beryl becoming fidgety uh, next to me, and I thought, okay, I'll come, on. I'll my come back. Sorry, you really, really, sorry. really want me to come back. I'll my now come back. <laughs> I'm always in a hurry. <laughs> but I was doing lots of there. I was busy. <laughs> so, yeah, it was uh, awesome. Um, this was very nice. I, I I like this. So thank you for your suggestion, and um, I'm always open for new. And it's see, it's it's in the beginning. Uh, when I had circle, so you work with various bands of consciousness and people that are on different levels. So in the beginning, just to get people to relax, to be able to meditate, and you take a little, little bit longer in the relaxation and getting to the body and uh, all. But then I realized I can, now, um, I can now work a little bit faster. And then I can just already go and uh, just start off. And it's nice now to take it to the next level. So who knows uh, what we all can do in uh, this uh, and uh, um, with our collective energy. So, so watch this space. <laughs>
Thanks, Fiona. Thank you. It's a lovely satsang. Thank you, Fiona. Yes, and it's good to see all of you again. It was really good. Thank you. Have a blessed week. A blessed week for you too. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Lots of love. Lots of love.